Hello friends and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 on demo of application of straight lines. And here we will cover one problem that is vertical pole problem. What we have already done under different sessions of application of lines. As you are aware under different uh, sessions of application of lines we have covered so many problems on application of straight lines. Among those problems, I have selected only vertical pole problems, vertical pole problem, which I will demonstrate using solid edge. See here, there are three vertical poles. As you see here, these problems I have explained clearly in the uh, my earlier session. Uh, you know theoretical concepts clearly, but anyway, as a uh, well, as a sort of revision, I'm doing it again using solid edge. How to do it in solid and uh, solid edge and all that? It's better you know. Okay, three vertical poles are there: A, B, C, D, E, F. Our respective measure to four eight meter long. Their ends P, D, F are on the ground and form the corners of an equilateral triangle of 5 meter long sides. You see here, there are three vertical poles. I have told you already all these things. The, when there are three po vertical poles, all will be seen as points in the top view. Okay, when they are seen as points in the top view, they say it forms the vertices of an equilateral triangle of 5 meter long sides. Okay, that means the three poles will be at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of 5 meter long sides. They determine graphically distance between the top ends of the poles, namely AC, CA and AA. Also, inclination of these with the ground. That they also ask scale 1 meter is 1 centimeter or 1 is to 100. Okay, this I have told you the scale and all that how to uh, do. Scale is drawing size by actual size. Okay, <laughs> drawing size is 1 centimeter, 10 mm is 1 centimeter, actual size is 1 meter. Okay, drawing size 1 centimeter, actual size 1 meter, 1 meter is 100 centimeter main, it is 1 by 100 only. That is the way you have to understand these things. I have done it in under different sessions of application of straight lines. In the initial stages only, I have done it. Okay, now since the three vertical poles form an equilateral triangle of 5 meter long sides, first I will cover equilateral triangle. Okay, see here, draw this. This, uh, as you are aware. You draw an equilateral triangle okay, of 5 meter long sides. The scale used is 1 meter is 1 centimeter. In that way, 5 centimeter you can take. Okay. Now, what you do? No? You draw an equilateral triangle. It is uh, 50 mm. Then this is 50 mm again. This is minus 120. Okay. Minus 120. This you do. That is why when the angle is minus 190 plus 30 because so that internal angle is 60 degree. In that way, you see that that internal angle is 60 degree. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, uh, wait for the alignment indicator and all that. In that way, complete the equilateral triangle 5 meter long sides. Now, if you see this, if you dimension this, it is 5 meter. See here, if you dimension this, it is 5 meter. Okay. In that way, it is 5 meter long sides. You draw this. Now, you, you know very well, at this corner, at this corner, and this corner, you have 3 vertical poles. Okay. 3 vertical poles are there. One at this corner, one at this corner, one at this corner. As you know here, as you know here, three vertical corners, their ends BDF are on the ground. Okay. Their ends BDF are on the ground means they B dash, D dash and F dash should be on the ground level. Anyway, now we will do the lettering and all that. This is A bracket B 
ओके कंपलसरी टेक टाइम स्टोरोमन एंड फोर एमएम ओके ए ब्रैकेट बी सी ब्रैकेट डी ई ब्रैकेट एफ ओके दिस इज ए ब्रैकेट बी दिस इज सी ब्रैकेट डी दिस इज ई ब्रैकेट एफ ओके द थ्री वर्टिकल पोल्स और in this way a bracket b c bracket d e bracket f see here and i'll do the texting also x y v p h p okay i'll push it x y VP, HP. Okay. Now uh, you see here. I'll uh, clearly make you know. This is. There is one vertical pole here. There is one vertical pole here. There is one vertical pole here. Okay. Okay, this is A bracket B, C bracket D, E bracket F. Okay, now as you know, these poles now now as you know here these poles will measure as you know here these poles one is 2 meter one is 4 meter and one is 8 meter okay in that way you see here this pole no first pole a bracket b is 2 meter only you take that is 20 mm 20 mm only you take and the second pole second pole is 4 uh, meter 4 meter in that way from here you take 4 meter 40 and the third pole is 8 meter or 8 80 mm you take because 1 meter is 1 cm or 8 cm or 80 mm you take okay once you do that these are all the poles you see here i'll just for you to understand okay this is i'll darken it just for uh, understanding purposes this is one pole this is also one pole this is also one pole okay now as you see here when you name it now if you see here if you name it uh, you should compulsorily have this says a this says b because they are clearly given in this problem the three vertical poles their ends bdf on are on the ground level that means when they are on the ground level are on hp ground means hp 
B D F should be on the ground level. That means B dash, D dash, and F dash should be on the ground level. That is why now A dash, B dash is already on the ground level. Now you take down next is C another pole C dash compulsorily make C D C dash, D dash on the ground level. That is D dash on the ground level. In the same way, that is E dash. This is F dash. That means the three poles are one is AB, one is CD, two meter, four meter, eight meter. In that way, if you dimension this also, see here. If you dimension this, this is two meter. This is four meter. This is eight meter. I think this is okay. Okay. This problem we'll do it in two sessions. Uh, after the end of the first session, we'll continue in the next session. Now, as you know here, this is one pole, this is one pole, this is one pole. When you're looking from the top, A can be seen, B cannot be seen, A bracket B. When you're looking from the top, perpendicular to HP for writing the top U, C can be seen, D cannot be seen, C bracket D. When you're looking from the top, E can be seen, F cannot be seen, E bracket F. In that way, you complete the top U and front U of this uh, arrangement. These are all the poles. This is pole, vertical pole, point in the top view. This is vertical pole, point in the top view. This is vertical pole, point in the top view. Okay. Now, once you know what exactly you have to do here is, as as per the problem here, a five meter long side determine graphically the distance between the top ends of the poles. Okay. That means you should know what exactly is the distance between A to C. C to E, E to A, you should know. That is why, first what we'll do now, we'll join this, okay, by 0.5 only, so that you will know the understanding. This is, you see it, from here to here I'll join, from here to here I'll join, from here to here I'll join, okay. Now, as you are aware here, Now, as you know here, you have to determine the true length between A and C, C and E, and E and A, not only finding the true length, but also it's the true inclination with the ground also you have to do. Okay. Now, what uh, you have done here is, I have joined A dash, C dash, C dash, E dash, and E dash, C dash. Now, as you are aware, in this, no, A dash, C dash, you observe. A dash, C dash, and this is AC. This is inclined to, I'll darken it a little better uh, for your understanding purposes. Okay. You see here, A dash, C dash, and AC. This is front view, this is the top view, both inclined. That means, this is the front view of AC, this is the top view of AC. You can't get true length unless you rotate. Okay. In the same way, this is C dash, C dash, this is C A. Again, this is inclined to HP, this is inclined to VP, this is the front view, this is the top view. Unless you rotate, you won't get the true length. Okay? You won't get the true length. But only thing is, AE you see, AE is parallel to VP. A dash, E dash, whatever is the length, no? if you see here, the length is 78 means, it is, if you round it off, it is almost 78 mm. 78 mm means 7.8 meters is the distance between A and E. Okay, A and E, because it's the only this, AE is in true length, you can directly get, but AC and CE have to be determined. Okay, we'll continue in session two of this uh, pole problem under application of straight lines. Thank you very much for watching. Please watch the next session two. Okay, thank you.